Good morning, everybody. It's Cindy in Oklahoma, and it's Saturday, and it is the middle of June, and it's hot here already. We are having a very, very, very warm year this year. You know what I forgot? I forgot color. Hold on a second. That's the color of the world lipsticks in Glamberry. And I I I love these lipsticks. They don't stay on a long time, but they're so comfortable and they're such pretty colors and they don't bleed. So anyway, here we go. I am here to do a video on this wig. This is a Paula Young wig. It's called Shannon. When I first began wearing a uh, wig several years ago, I had this particular wig in a blonde. And it was real pretty then, too. But they didn't have this color called Rooted Angel Swing, which is a dark root with a gray, almost, picks up almost a blue tinge of gray. But I love it. I, th I think it's so pretty. Anyway, I'm going to turn so you can see. This is the left side. That's the back. And this is the right side. I did not have to cut the bangs. The only thing is there's a lot of little stray hairs and some shedding. But I, and it had a little dome <laughs> from being folded in the box and I dipped it in water and hung it up last night. This is the first time I've really, you know, I tried it on when I took it out of the box. Had a wig cap on and all that just to make sure it, it fit right. I sewed my clips on the inside that I catch my hair right here, and that is it. Um, it's just a standard cap. I don't know if I said that. Nothing fancy, nothing special. But for $59, and it is a heat curable, you know, I could do the beachy wave thing and uh, or something like that, and I'm really thinking about getting one and doing the beachy wave. I got three wigs, and one I've been wanting a long time is called Meg, and it's defective. It's like got, it's curly here, and it's just straight over here. So I'm sending it back, and I got another one called Amanda, which I think is darling. I've, I've on the um, reviews, it was everything from the best wig made to it looks like a mop, and I think it's somewhere halfway between, and it's really cute. So, <laughs> I'm going to be doing that one later on. But, today is the day before Father's Day. Oh, probably four years ago, I made a video on the day before Father's Day. And, uh, we are headed to Outback again on Saturday, and then tomorrow we will be celebrating with our son, his wife, our precious daughter-in-law, Teppy, and our two grand boys that are always here with me. Um, I made a video the other day of my empties, and I had saved and saved and saved them, and the daughter and her family are going to be here in a couple weeks, so I've been decluttering. I made this nice video about all my empties and my duds, and looked on my camera, it, it, you know, it did what it was supposed to, took them out and put them in our big trash can, not a bathroom trash can, not the kitchen trash can, but our big tr dumpster, and um, then I got in front of my uh, computer to start editing, and I had erased all of it. So, I'm sorry, <laughs> no empties, probably this year. Anyway, have a wonderful Father's Day. If your father is in heaven like mine, remember him with wonderful thoughts. Um, and I'm going to leave you with something my dad, one of his many sayings was, always take the high road. You know, it might hurt more right then. It might, people might not agree with you. But if you know you're honest and you're doing right, you're the winner. I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming by and visiting. 
I will catch you later. Bye-bye.